hoping I don't fucking crash. You just a flick on my ass. Heard you just shit to be honest, it's ass. Missing class, rips to the grass. I spend a stack and I make it right back. Then my cool Denny, I love in the trap. If I had a genie, wish my head is back. Never gon' lag, bitch, we twist the pack. Run up on me, your shit gon' get wet. All of the hate is just motivation. I keep the gas like a gas station. Backwood with a hit of face and mask on and off like I'm fucking Jason. Blue hunters, bitch, I ain't basic. Basically, these bitches be hating, but I ain't even worried about the rating. Cause I'm on the ground like a skater skating. He ain't blazing that boy faking. I'm so high, don't know what I'm chasing. I just know that that shit ain't escaping. I get the chance, I'ma fucking take it just to tell my people that we fucking made it. Handshakes for the ones who paid it. And middle fingers to the ones betrayed it. No scuss, I read a toe 380. Back to the trap where it's going crazy. Sleep when you die, got me. Feeling lazy, these real diamonds, boy, no full gauges. So why the fuck a goofy trying to play me? Need to run it up and stop acting shady. Whoa, okay. What's Gucci with y'all, man? Let's get it, man. We got a new video. Um, I know y'all like story time segments and shit, so uh, we about to get on to it. Um, as y'all can see in the title, shit is wild, shit is crazy, but it's funny to look back at stuff like that because. It's all in the past now. Like that was first off, that was a juvenile incident, and I'm now an adult. So it was like it's something to talk about now, you know. Like I don't know, but let me turn this bitch off, man. All right, y'all. So let's get started on this. Today what I'm using, like what gar am I using, I actually bought four kings. I don't even like these. Like I was thinking like, because that's how I bought four kings, right? Like they gave me a type of feeling, like a memory. And I remember, um, I remember fucking tasting that, you know what I'm saying? So like I got the same kind as last time as I remembered. It just brings back memories. That's all I got it for, like. I don't really care spending more for some guards, but to be honest, like, I just like to remember where I came from type shit. Sometimes, I don't really be on these, you know, but, um, yeah, let's get started on this video. So, um, I want to get into details, that's why I'm starting it, you know, right away. So, let's just, let's, let's, let's start the scene. So, I wake up. It's a normal day, you know, I'm doing my thing, I'm just chilling and, you know, making money. Oh, it's Halloween, by the way. So I wake up in the morning and I just see, like, my grandma, she puts up, like, Halloween decorations and stuff, like, in the restroom. I remember I went to the restroom so I could take a shower. Um, that's, like, my morning routine. I wake up, take a shower type shit. Uh, so I take a shower and then um, I see, like, on the, on the mirror, there's, like, Co not costumes, um, decorating stuff with the Halloween, you know. I guess my grandma tried to scare me, matter of fact, because my grandma, she, she put it on the mirror or something. It was like a spider or some shit. But it didn't scare me. It was just like I knew it was Halloween. And then, like, I don't know, I just, uh, starting the day off normal, right? Someone's knocking on my door, right? So I'm like, damn, who the fuck? Boom. I mean, everybody used to knock on my door back then, but I still always, you know, like, I always used to scare people. I used to open the door with a chopper in my hand or a pistol or something like that. So I opened the door and I got my pistol in my hand. And it's my boy E. It's my boy E. I'm not going to say real names. It's my boy E. And he's telling me, he's like, hey, you down to chill? You down to go ride? I said, you, you whipping? He's like, yeah, we whipping. I'm like, I bet, bet. So, boom, I'm like, I go inside and I'm like, bro, what should I do? Like, and so I'm like, bro, I got I got all this, um, I ain't gonna front to y'all, I got all this weed, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, what am I gonna do with all this weed? But I, 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 I take like half of that stash of the weed and then I, boom, I take it. And then um, I'm like, should I bring my guns? Damn, I, should, I don't know. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know if I should bring my guns. Like, just because like, I was like, if we run into like beef or something, I'm with my boys and we'll just like beat them up or something. Like we'll throw rounds, but I didn't really think about you know what I'm saying? Like, what if we ran into a gun gun shootout or something? But anyway, I was like, nah, I'm not about to bring my strap. But I did bring, like, a bunch of blue hunnets. I think I had, like, 800s in blue hunnets. And I had, like, the rest in 20s and 50s, right? And I had, like, I brought some, some weed with me and shit. 
Boom, I come into the, I, I'm walking out outside and I see this car, it's like an SUV. It's a white SUV, but I'm talking about this bitch is brand new. From the tires to the rims. And and I see homie, um, I'ma just call him, um, I don't even know what to call this man. Um, homie A, right? So homie A is just like throwing this stuff out the car, like like personal items from somebody else, I guess, I don't know. But he's just throwing it all in the dumpster and shit. I'm like, okay, this is kind of sketchy, you know what I'm saying? But, like, at the same time, I'm just thinking, like, homie said that it's his dad's car. I don't know. It was just, like, I don't know. I, I didn't think it was stolen at the time, you know what I'm saying? So I, I get in the car. They're sipping lean. We're smoking, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's awesome. It's Halloween. So we pull up on homie M, and homie M got homie E's trap phone, and he's like, hey, give me my trap phone. Matter of fact, it's A's, it's M's trap phone, but E uses that trap phone, so E's like, let me get that phone, yada yada, he's like, no son, no son, I need it son, I'm about to go do some stuff, son, he's all like, I need it son, no son, he's like, come with us, come with us, come with us, and homie M is like, no, 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 I, no, no, like, that's how he talks too, because he's from Somalia, so, um, Boom, we fucking, we, we cruising around now, now now we're going to homie A's house, and homie A's like, I'm gonna take a shower, we finna go to this party, we caught up another homie, another homie was like, boom, I'm pick me up, scoop me up, boom, we said, alright, we're gonna go scoop you up once we uh get back from homie A's house, I mean, once we're done with homie A's house, so we pull up at homie A's house, right, and it's like, at a random place that I don't know at all, you know what I'm saying, like, and they were saying it's pretty hot out here, they're saying park the car over here. It was like weird, right? It was so weird. And I didn't know the car was stolen, right? So I'm coming inside A's house and his brother is on probation. He has a monitor on. Now we got bud, right? And we're just trying to smoke, so we need some guards. Now homie E and his homie A's brother went to go get guards while homie A was in the shower and I'm just chilling in the house, you know what I'm saying? Finally they come back, right? Homie had a monitor on. Homie E told the homie A. I mean, homie E told homie, you don't. It don't matter about your monitor. They won't check that if you just go to the store real quick, which was probably a lie. I don't know, but when the happening was, we're just chilling, right? They finally come with the guards and they come with two other people. Now these two other people buy some zannies off E, and then some bud. You know what I'm saying, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Boom, so now, but, but I was doing that all day long. Like, I was, we were just doing that all day long, you know what I'm saying? Getting getting rid of stuff. So, at that time, I only had, like, eight grams on me. And, you know, homie had a couple bottles of lean still. Uh, So, what, it, what ended up happening was, um, matter of fact, this was the last day that I saw my homie alive also. This was the last day that I saw my homie alive. We went to go um, pour him some lean. We pulled up some lean with him. Um, this is the last day I saw my homie alive, which is pretty ironic that the last time I seen him was he was pouring some lean, um, saying that he skimped him out on some lean, <laughs> but it's all good, man. So end up, anyway, what ended up happening was we're finally smoking in the backyard, right, of A's house. We're still at A's house and we're finally smoking and shit or whatever. And like, I don't know where A, he was in the shower the whole time, but I don't know where he comes back out. And he says this, they're here, they're here, they're here. All of us, we didn't give a fuck who was here. When you should come outside like that, we fucking chopped it. I got my brand new Jordan Illusions on. They just came out in the stores. If y'all know what I'm talking about, it's around that time. So um, the Jordan Illusions just came out. I just had them brand new. They're white and blue, black, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I, I fucking ran. I jumped the fence, and I'm all in the mud now. I'm running. I'm right behind A, and everybody else is behind us. A is like, hey, you could get the car, you know how to drive, you know how to drive. Nigga, you drove us here. That's when I already knew, like, no way I'm going to put myself in that predicament. Oh, shit, well, I got my chain up. I mean, in. I'm like, no way I'm going to put myself in that predicament, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, if you drove the car here and then you ask somebody, do you know how to drive, can you get the car? That sounds like a setup big time for failure. Homie E comes around the cut. I could drive. He takes the keys and he fucking goes. I'm like, stupid. Like, I already knew type shit. Like, it was just too stupid to, to not make sense. Like, he was saying, do you know how to drive? When he's the one who drove us over here. Boy, what the freak is going on? You know what I'm saying? And then they're here, they're here. And then you're asking me if I know how to drive. When you're the one who drive us all the So, that's when I was starting to think, dude, this is probably a stolen vehicle. 
Boom, homie, it gets in the car. I remember seeing this. Then, boom, right when he turns on the engine, bro, like, it was a setup for failure. Right when he turned on the engine, the fucking cops come right behind him. Boom, we chop it. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know why I ran. I, was, I wasn't even that predicament. I wasn't even inside the stolen car. Like, what the fuck? Oh, wait, I had butt on me. So, boom, I ran. Boom, 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 boom. And everybody's ready, right, homie, A. Hey, and then the two homies dipped on the other side. They lived around here. So they went to their side or whatever. They went back to their crib or whatever. But me, I'm chopping it with A, thinking I'm going to go back into a, A's house. But no. A jumps the fence and his whole family is just right there looking, bro. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then I'm just fucking, I, I, he's like, hey, wait, wait, wait right here, wait right here. I said, all right, bet. Boom, I'm looking around and I see homie E coming. Homie A never comes back outside. He's inside, he locks the doors, he's fucking looking out the windows type shit. He left me out there like a bitch. And that's why he got his karma. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know what happened. So anyways, homie E comes running in the cut, it's like an alley. You know what I'm saying? Cause we were in the backyard and it's the alley and then in the front yard it was where the car was. So boom, it's an alley and then he's coming down this alley, homie E. And he's like, run, run, they're, they're chasing me, they're chasing me. And it was like a funny moment at that time because I see nobody behind him. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, no one's even behind you. He's all like, they're chasing me. I'm like, bro, no one's behind I'm like, fuck it, come on. Bro, so we chop it. We're chopping it down this alley. And I remember, like, when I was running, I looked to the right of me. And there's another, there's, like, another part of the houses. And then there's the street. Because it's an alley. You know what I'm saying? It's the alley, houses, houses, street, street. So I'm looking to the right of me. And you can see through the houseway, there's a cop on the street. Running, jogging, like not like running, matter of fact. And he's like running fast as fuck. And he's like ca almost caught up with us, but he's on the other side of the alleyway. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird. He didn't see us, but I saw him. So I tell Eric, I'm like, bro, 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 they're right there. Come on, let's go, let's go. We could beat him, we could beat him. So boom, I throw all my weed or whatever. He throws his lean bottles. I seen it. I seen it was a terrible, terrible thing to think about. We just see that on the floor, like just throwing it away it was fucking terrible. So boom. I'm like, boom, 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 boom. And we jumped in on the left side of the, there was like fences, right? Of course, because like the houses and then the other street and the alley. So there's like a fence right here on the left, right before we cut the street where they were going to cut to come meet us up in the middle. Boom, we jumped right there on the left. I decided to do that because I know I'm smart to do stuff like that. So boom, I jumped on the left of the fence, right? And we're in some random ass house. And um, boom, we're hiding behind like some the trash cans like you know the blue and the green and nobody could see us we're inside the fence private property all we hear is them walking around like they almost caught us they would have caught us you know what i'm saying but all we hear them is walking around in the alley the walkie talkies and at that point like your life flashes in front of your eyes like you just think like how it's gonna be when you go back to jail that's all you're thinking is like damn i don't want to go back to jail and i had a warrant a juvenile warrant right and I was still juvenile, so they had they could take custody of me. So what ended up happening was, homie E is breathing hard. He's like, <sighs> I'm like, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. I'm like fucking putting my finger on his mouth. I'm like, shut up, bro, shut the fuck up, bro. And then like, he's like, he's like, bro, we gotta go, we gotta go. For you're gonna get me caught up. I said, bro, I'm gonna get you caught up. I said, all right, go then with your stupid ass. Boom, he jumps the fence, and right when he jumps the fence, I'm right behind him, right? Because he was going to say, like, I know where to go. I, we could jump this fence and go this way. I'm like, all right, bet, let's do it. But I told him, let's, let's stay here until it dies down. <coughs> but no. He wanted to, <coughs> he wanted to jump the fence. <coughs> right when he jumps the fence, you just see, like, a sheriff come. Boom. Stops him right here. And all I can hear from the sheriff is, don't you freaking move, motherfucker. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. Boom. So I turn back around. I jump on the fence of the gate from the front entrance door. They have a gate, you know what I'm saying? To, so you can't reach the door. I jump on that gate and I jump on the roof. So now I'm on the roof of that house. And then, boom, I'm chopping it and then I fucking... I'm chopping it and then I run up. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a car behind me. It's fucking... Little Mexico out here. Anyway, so I jumped the fucking fence in there. I jump on the house. And I'm running to the back. And there was a big pool. It was all dirty as freak. I got all this money in my pocket. I'm like, nah. If I get caught up, I'm not going in there soaking wet, getting athlete's foot, none of that shit. Nope. 
No. So I go to the right now, and there's already like three pistols in my face. Don't move, don't move. Boom, I go to the left, but I have my hands up, guys. Always keep your hands up, because if I didn't, I probably would have got my ass shot. I already knew I had my hands up, and then boom, I turn to the right, I mean to the left, and I try to jump there, and there's boom, 40, 40s in my face, 9s in my face. Don't move, don't move. Then I go back to the front where I started, and they're just all right there. Boom, 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 boom. Get down. Don't move. I say, what do I do? And I hear somebody say, I don't give a freak. Get the freak down. Boom, I jump down and they all start pistol whipping me. Boom, 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 boom. I'm just like, oh, oh, boom. Man. I remember my elbows were bleeding. I was all freaked up. And homie E's in the car. He's like, bro, tell him it wasn't us. Tell him it was homie's dad's car. Tell him. To I'm like, yeah, sir, it wasn't us. We didn't know it was a stolen car, yada, yada. They pull out my money to like... Hey, you work? I'm like, yes, sir. He's like, no, you don't. You steal cars, motherfucker. I'm like, no, I don't. What the hell? You could call my people up right now. You could they could explain to you where I get my money from. Yadi yadi, right? Boom. So they did that or whatever. They put my money in the orange envelope. I did get my money back because it was proven where I got it from. Also, it was just like they didn't even charge me for the stolen car. They didn't charge me for none of that stuff. But they charged the homie that was in the car that that could have been me, you know, because he asked me if I knew how to drive. They charged him for that. Now, it was his dad's car that he stole. He could have came outside and say, I misused it from my dad, and his dad wouldn't have pressed charges on him. But guess what? They did Eric... Oh, fuck. My fault. I mean, there's a bunch of Eric's in the world. Who cares? They did Eric wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was fucked up. That dude who did us wrong, he's doing life in prison now. I ain't gonna explain his situation, but it's just karma plays that, plays that way. Like, I always thought in my head, like, damn... He, he's gonna get karma like he's making us go to jail for, for something we didn't do and um, Well my case. I just had the warrant so I'm going in for the warrant. That was all I got But homie got charged with a stolen car. That was really really unfair, you know because I Asked homie at the end of the day. I said did you know it was stolen? He said I knew that he took it from his dad I didn't know that his dad would report it stolen like a real stolen vehicle like and that's true because like Sheesh, I don't know. He didn't know his son took the car, like your keys were missing. I don't know. It was pretty random, but as far as as I almost got away, I almost did get away. Like if I would have stayed in that same position, I would have got away. But he was like, nah, let's go. You're gonna get me caught up. So I was like, alright, bet, let's do it. So boom. Oh, and while we were running from the cops, I get on my phone and that, that homie that was trying to go to a party called me. He's like, what's up, bro? I'm like, bro, we're running from the cops right now. I'll call you back. Boom. And then we never called back. And then while I'm in jail, like like a week later, I find out that my homie got shot in the head and he's in the hospital. And then I just remember everything. Like, it was crazy. And I got out and, you know, we did this for him, man. And as y'all could hear in my songs, rest in peace, Ruga, hell yeah, that's the homie. They still trying to hold me, never fold like I'm Tony. Rest in peace to Ruga, man. Yep. Seems like yesterday, though, you know, like, it really don't seem like a couple years back, but I don't know. It's just crazy in these streets, man. Like, I'm telling y'all, y'all just got to be careful. Uh, watch who you're around. Don't get in cars you don't know whose it is, because, like, honestly... She she could go sideways real fast. You know what I'm saying? You could you could ask homie to use his car and then you end 